Okay, this is an update on where I'm at with the cobbles. As you can see, you can still see a few of the join seams. But I'm not zooming as close as I can. You can see that I've etched in lots of tiles, lots of extra cobbles in the area sort of blend them in a bit and I mean I've studied a lot of the cobbled sections and you far from find tile, um, cobbled sections which have a line of other style of like cobbles to sort of pack them out and set them square so on you can distinctively see a, a mark in them so I'm basically going to explain that away by doing that and as you get more layers on it and paint now blending and I'm even going to emphasize some of the lines because they're there so I can't get rid of them so that's it but as I say all modeling jobs and my learning process and I think the next time if I was going to do this specific size area again with that same mold as I was popping them from the actual casting I'd pop them as they're called hot and I'd actually trim them with scissors while they're still soft and lay them down and cut into the pattern and get it down as best as I can but I mean you can see here this is where I've I have literally gone gone wild on this with a, with a drum of a, a router tool I've started to add in damaged sections I mean it's all quite solid now I mean it seems a bit extreme to build a nice resin floor and then actually just gouge big chunks out of it with the sander but I wanted them weathered and I wanted them add a bit more damage to them because the farm's damaged I mean what I've done after when I mean you see it's pretty tough so I've given it a sanding I've been sanding it down a bit to um, get any of the high bits off I've actually mixed them it's got some ready mixed sand and cement and rubbed it into the joins I've rubbed it into the dibits where I wanted them cut out I've squirted it with water dried it with a hair dryer on cold because if you hit the resin with a hot dryer it bends it so you do it cold then once it's dried once I've then hit it again with um, with a PVA watered down PVA all over the top of it and then after that's dried well I've got the big chunks I've dug out and I wanted to keep the sand texture in place I've hit with a thick layer of varnish and let that dry and this is what I've ended up with well, I've got to do a lot more yet so there's going to be a path around here maybe a bit more cobbles there a little path there I think in these areas I'm just going to do rough dirt and grass and a bit around the buildings and I'm going to add a few additions of cobbles to the buildings so that's just a little update on that what I've been doing on that I'm thinking she's starting to shape up okay I'm sorry there's not more to say on these videos but they am just like a work in progress video so that's what's going on with her. Anyway, in a bit folks, bye bye.